Yo, what's up everybody? Today we are gonna go over some of the pedals and the parts, primarily the pedals, because I'm just gonna show you the other video for the parts of Tremble by Mosaic MSC. You'll be able to pick it out pretty easy. It's a simple song. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. For amp selection on this song, I'm using Guitar Rig again because as you can tell, I am not in my usual studio space. I am in a storage room at my grandma's house as seen by the beautiful panda and the rocket ship behind me and the space heater and this beautiful, uh, wonderful Last Supper peanuts picture in the background. It's wonderful. It's amazing. But yeah, so for the amps, I did the, the two again. So I duplicated what I recorded, and then on the left, I'm doing the AC30, just like you heard in Line in the Lamb. And then on the right, I use the, um, I think it's called the High White, which is their version of like a high watt amp. The first sound you hear in this song is the swell patch that I talked about before. It's the exact same thing. I use it every time, super simple. Perfect Storm preset on the Mobius, timeline, loud delay, super long tail, and then a shimmer reverb. Not shimmer in the sense of like upper octave, but like sparkly. So it's a big long plate. I usually do that when it's just synth, just cause in a live setting, it, it feels a little better if it's not just track or just a keyboard holding, you know, like a. Then we get to the first chorus where I switch to a clean sound with a really big dark hall. It's actually the In the River preset on the Big Sky. Um, not the Big Sky's preset, obviously, but the Jesus Culture one. So it's a really long, dark room, super wet, super, you know, like, <laughs> if that makes any sense. I mean, if you're a guitar player, you know what I'm talking about. the second verse and there's not really a lot of guitar going on but to keep it moving forward I just kind of palm mute and keep the keep the feel going on a tonic note sometimes I'll move around in the pentatonic so then we hit the second chorus there's a lot of different guitar parts going on here and you can't really hear a lot of them so if I'm the only guitar player what I'll usually do is I'll split it in half so if I, if, I, if I have two guitar players, I'm gonna play the line you heard in the first chorus from the top on and let the other guitar player take the part that I played in the video. Um, but this I was approaching as if it was just me on the weekend. So for the first part, I have these really interesting chord shapes and it just follows a really simple pattern. Then when we hit the chorus again for a third time to pick it up, I switch back to the other part, I turn a drive on, I go to the bridge pickup, rock and roll. from there I'm using the same chord shapes with that open G string um, and I, I mainly just play chords following the kick pattern so bum bum ba, bum bum uh, that seems to really help thicken it up the song is pretty synth heavy so I, I think anything not obtrusive is the way to go here <laughs> We hit a chorus again because you know how we are in worship we got to do like a hundred bridges a hundred choruses so this chorus is pretty much the same thing you heard on the second and third choruses except that i'm switching to the moonshine just to give it even a little more gain and then i, I kind of combine the two parts you heard so i i have that da -na 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 -na, that sort of feel but i do that at the tail end so we still have the ba -na 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 -na. <laughs> Then 
Then we hit that interlude. You don't have to play anything here. Sometimes it's better not to, um, but he here it is again, where if it's only in the track, I would say you should play what that synth line is doing like I did, just so it feels like something is live on the stage. I turn the gain down, big reverb, big delay. That's pretty much your key in this song, light drive, lots of verb, lots of delay. <laughs> Then we hit that bridge where I move to the same chord shapes as I did before to build. And then when it really kicks in, I do that, you know, the U2E thing where you go to that D shape chord and I just follow the chord progression and then I do a walk up with octaves and back into that same line you heard on the third chorus. <laughs> gonna pretty much wrap up all the different parts and the sound you hear on this song if you have any questions leave them below and tell me what other songs you want to hear I know worship songs for day I was just days days I can speak I was actually just looking at my my um, I, I do all my presets on the RJM on the on the computer and I think I have like hundred and fifty songs programmed um, I don't know if I can recall how to play all of those 150 songs, but they're in there. So I think I might be a jukebox when it comes to like top 40 Christian worship. So let me know if there's anything you want to hear, any questions. I'm going to do it to it. But uh, yeah, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.